Hi, Chris Conway here in the Aloft studio, and it's uh, I thought I'd do another recording vlog. Uh, this time for to cover the recording of the new uh, Gavannon album. Uh, it's going to be called Celtic Earth, and work started about a month or so ago, and uh, it kind of follows up from our Celtic Fire album, which. Uh, Won, a, won an award, CoVR sort of New Age Best of World Music Record of the Year award. So we said I sort of marked quite high with that, so we have to beat that. The story so far, I, I started, uh, I've recorded about nine tracks and laid down some, trying to sort some arrangements out, getting the tempos right, and uh, just laying sort of the bedrock that we can add the layers on of all the different instruments. I, I started. Uh, I've recorded some of my tin whistle, which you'll see a bit later on as well, on the vlog, and some low whistle, of course, and uh, zither, a bit of vocal, and for the first time in years, I, I played a Breton bombard, which you'll hear of again later in the vlog. Uh, then Dan Britton came and did a, just a little session as he flew by and just recorded some Boran on one track, and then Adele McMahon came and recorded uh, two sessions about eight tracks with her so far, and um, uh, wonderful vettel playing is now on there. Uh, then her sister Bridget was over from Ireland, so she, on our last albums for Paradise Music, is, adds a lot of her atmospheric, beautiful atmospheric vocals, and I uh, managed to get hold of her whilst she was over here to do a session. Uh, so here is uh, footage of uh, Adele and Bridget in the studio over the last couple of weeks. But today is our first big proper session with Adele McMahon. And we're just working through our first tune now, Blarney Pilgrim, which is something we do at a lot of Kayleys and stuff. And we're going to work through the day and see how much we get done. Well, better crack on. Sister Bridget McMahon, who's Hello. over from Ireland, <laughs> and she's uh, come to sing us uh, some atmospheric vocals, as she's done in the past for the Gavannon albums. Yep. Yep. And uh, we're just having a run through some. Yep. It's easy that compared to Bridget's normal albums, there aren't any words, so that bit's easy. It's great because I don't have to go through any words or remember any no, words. No, we brilliant. just we just um an um an R and U and R. It's it's all jazz, isn't it? Really. It, it is. It yeah. is. Tis, we'll, tis, better, tis we'll crack on and do some. I won't try and film her while she's doing it. <laughs> I always feel that's while she's singing and you can't hear the backing really. track. You can't hear the backing track. And she's just doing in a room on her own. And I won't bother with that. Great, I said I wouldn't do it, but you sounded so nice. I thought, let's catch you with that. <laughs> so, nearly done, about three or four tracks now. Uh, carry on. Wafty stuff. I'm doing a bit of whistle on a tune which I know well because we do it with our uh, in lot of Kayleys and gigs, but I always play the keyboard on it and um, I'm working my way through learning it <coughs> for the whistle. And uh, it's funny, you think you know a tune, but every, once you've got the headphones on, every little wiggle you realize <coughs> you'd know it slightly differently. And the other thing is with this kind of whistle and jig playing, the less you think, the better you are, <laughs> the your chances of success. Uh, let's stick a bit on. I'm in training.
Well, I'm getting there. Uh, I have to remember to breathe. That's important. Uh, All right, one thing uh, is going to be new with the new Gavanna album we haven't used before is the Bombard. Now, I had this Bombard oh, 15, 20 years ago, and I used it on a, a few albums with a rain garden name, which was a sort of world music group I was playing with. Uh, I think I even used it on a anti-nuclear power march at Sizewell, I seem to recall, and I had better lungs then. But anyway, what happened was, um, over the years I lost my reed, and I uh, fell into neglect, really. I didn't get another reed, I wasn't playing that kind of music, and uh, anyway, I recently got a new reed, and uh, uh, <laughs> my lungs are just about up to using it. It's, it's a bit, it's very loud. So on the recording, it's going to be well uh, in the back and uh, reverb, but let's see what I can do now. Where? <laughs> have to make that strange duck noise to moisten it. There we go. <coughs> the reed's falling out, that's good. Anyway, that's, uh, I used some on that. I, uh, I think on the recording here I've got it all in the background and reverb here, so it sounds like part of a big bagpipe band really. Hope to try and use it again somehow. It's in a funny key for a lot of work we do, so it's a A flat major, something like that. But yeah, welcome back Bombard anyway. Right, so kind of that's where we're at. Uh, I need one more recording session with Adele, I think. One should do it. Then it will be time to get Dan Britton in to record uh, some baran and guitar and a bit of vocals. And then Neil Rabjohn uh, to come in with his cajon drum to kind of beef up the percussion. And I've got another possible special guest in mind, which I hope will come off. Um, so that's it. Uh, I'll do another vlog when there's more things to see.